Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it's my day to post over at the Jaded Blossom blog. Hey everybody, so I am using Jaded Blossom's mailbox die along with their gnome dies, school add-ons, our happy graduation stamp set and outline dies, our congratulations stamp set and outline dies, and our Valentine word dies. And I'm using the hats off pad and the matching odds and ends from Doodlebug. So this is the little, um, our mailbox die that I put together in my last video. And I'm just going to add some ribbon to it. So that is just some one and a half inch grow grain ribbon. And that is twine from my mind's eye. It's together twine, happy go lucky together twine. And I'm just doubled it up and I'm just going to quickly knot it um, and tie a little bow. You'll notice I'm using uh, reverse tweezers just to hold my ribbon in place. Now that ribbon can be used to hang that, um, you know, mailbox gift card holder from a present or, you know, whatever you'd like. I'm just using it for decoration today because this is going on a card. There we go. So I will just even out my tails, trim them off with a pair of scissors here, and then we will get creating a quick card. This is an adorable little die set, really. it's I guess it's a die set. It has three dies in it. It's adorable. There we go. And then I will trim off my little ribbon ends. Now this does not have to be long since it's just going on to the, a card front. Um, it will hang off. It's larger, though, than an A2, so I'm going to put it in an, um, an I think it's an A6 envelope. It's a, like a little bit larger. There we go. So this is a piece of paper tray ink pale peony cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. I'm working on my Stampin' Up pad, as always. There we go. And now this is a piece of paper from that Hats Off six inch pad from Doodlebug, and that is an one eighth of an inch smaller than my A2 size card front. And I'm just going to stick that down using my ATG tape. So we'll just kind of make sure no tape is sticking out and then we will line that up. So there's lots of ways to use this mailbox die. And uh, my favorite is to put it on a card front. So that's what I'm doing today. So there we are. So I'm just going to line that up. There we go. This is not sped up. So you can see in real time how long this takes. So there we go. So now that is my little mailbox. I'm going to stick that down to my card front using ATG tape again. I'm going to have it kind of on an angle. And you'll see how that ribbon hangs off and that doesn't bother me. I'm just going to put it in a larger envelope. There we go. So now I'm going to decorate this little mailbox. Sort of like I'm sending congratulations for a graduation is what I'm going for. So now this is the graduation hat that I cut out using my gnome dies, the school add-ons. Cut that out with American Crafts black cardstock. I did all my die cutting today with my Gemini machine, kind of like always. And you'll notice, oh, of course I dropped it. I was using a Mart glitter glue. I'm better if I use tweezers. I'm kind of all thumbs these days. There we go. So luckily I didn't make a mess. And now I'm going to add on the little tassel that's cut out of that same color of paper tray and cardstock. That is the pale peony again. And I'm just going to line that up, pop that onto my little grad cap. And then there you have it. So when I get my Doodlebug six inch pads, a lot of times I'll buy the um, matching odds and ends to go along with it. And this is why, like they're super fun. So I'm going to pop this little, this little light bulb inside the pocket. And then I'm gonna pop this little graduation diploma in the pocket. You know, sort of like I'm sending, oh, you're so smart with the uh, light bulb and the cute little graduation. Um, diploma and then I'm going to be popping up that little hat but first I'm going to get my sentiments on the front of the card because I want to make sure I have enough room for those those are stamped onto white cardstock from paper tray ink and cut out using the outline dies that's the congratulations um, stamp set and outline dies and then the happy graduation stamp set and outline dies and I'm just going to use my stampin up dimensionals and pop that on the back this is super easy to do I I I I can't say enough about Jaded Blossom's new um, outline dies for some of their sentiments. It just, I love them. I just think that they're fabulous. They add a real um, kick to your card fronts, you know. 
I, I just think they're super cute. Now, you could have left this as a tag, you know, and put it on a graduation present, but I wanted to make a card today. So I'm going to have congrats and happy graduation is what I'm putting on there. So the sentiments I'm going to have straight, uh, but the um, mailbox itself is on an angle. There we go. So I'm just going to pop up this one. And then I cut out the ampersand um, from Jaded Blossom's uh, Valentine, Valentine, <laughs> Valentine, Valentine word dice. And I cut that out of black cardstock from American Crafts also. I like American Crafts cardstock uh, for die cutting. I like the texture. Um, Doodlebug is also like their cardstock is the same. It has that neat texture. There we go. So I'm just going to pop that on now. So congrats. And happy graduation is what it's going to say. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now you could stamp on that little pink pocket too, if, if you know, if that's what you'd like to do, but I decided to do this instead. So I'm going to use um, my art glitter glue again. And you know, it's in my little cheapo bottle from American Crafts. And I'm just going to pop that on in between. So it says congrats and happy graduation. So this is like a super fast and easy card. Now I'm going to pop up my little grad cap for a little bit of, you know, dimension, which is always nice. And then we will pop that on the front of the card. So, you know, easy peasy stuff. Jada Blossom has graduations covered, I think. But my favorite right now, though, is the congratulations stamp set and outline um, die set. It's you can basically make a card for any occasion with that. Now I'm going to use these three um, acetate um, cutouts that come in the odds and ends pad. And it's these neat silver um, kind of stars, retro stars. And I'm going to pop those up with the miniature um, Stampin' Up dimensionals. Put one in the center of each one. And then I'll pop those up. And I'm just going to add three to the front just to add a little bit more glitter. Um, the background does have silver stars on it. And, uh, you know, there's silver on that filament on the light bulb. Um, you know, just adding a little bit of glitter. Now, you could have heat embossed your sentiments if, if you would have liked. But I find that heat embossing sentiments, while I love it, it doesn't show up very well when you're taking card pictures. Pictures which is a drag. <laughs> Beautiful when people get it, though. They always love that. But, you know, when you're taking card pictures, it doesn't really show up that great on a card picture. So hopefully these acetate um, stars show up in my, in my pictures because they're really shiny and pretty. There we go. So, you know, three sort of filling in. And that is it. Like, how fast is that for a card front? Now, on the inside, a lot of times I'll put some white paper, but this pink paper is light enough to write on, so I'm going to leave it at that. This um, is a little strip of paper from that same hats off pad. It's just three quarters, quarters of an inch wide. And I'm just going to stick that down onto the front of this, or on the inside of this card. Sorry. And of course, I realize it's not wide enough, so I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. And I do have an adhesive eraser that does that. But if you, you know, if it hasn't been sitting around too long, you can roll ATG tape off a little bit without tearing. There we go. And then I'm going to grab an adorable, um, I guess, what are they called? Die cut, a die cut image um, from that Doodlebug's Hats Off um, Odds and Ends Matching like the matching odds and ends for the hats off paper line. And it's really cute. It's a little little um, globe and it says, let the journey begin. And that's going to be my insight sentiment. So like, how easy is that? So I'm just going to take my ATG tape and I'll add a little bit of glue to the ends there just so nothing catches. There we go. And I'm going to pop that in the lower left-hand corner of my card design on the inside. There we go. And then I do have three little stars from that same odds and ends package. They come with so many images and die cuts and stuff. Like literally, I've never run out. Like I have so many of these left for my little six inch pads. They're great to put on the inside of your cards. So, you know, don't forget about them. If you do buy your odds and ends, you know, use them on the inside of your cards. It's lots of fun. Go. So now I'm going to stick three stars on the interior of the card and then we will be calling it done so super quick and easy just another way to use that mailbox die from jaded blossom 
other than the obvious, you know, as a tag, um, as a gift card holder to put some money in. You could even slip a chocolate bar in there, a treat of some sort, sucker, whatever. And there you go. Isn't that cute? I think it turned out wonderful. Just going to have to go in a little bit of a larger envelope. But that is all. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom store to get your hands in, on these fabulous um, dies and stamps. And um, hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and be inspired by the team. And that is all. Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. Bye, everyone.